Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one's talking about the update. Now that we've had a little bit of time to see how it's affected the game, I'm going to be going through the town hall levels, talking about how they've changed a little bit, um, what the current uh, attack strategies that are getting the job done are. Um, this video is going to be only town hall 9 attacks as the background attacks, and that's because all the town hall 10 3 stars I'm saving for a attack strategy video, so be looking for that uh, very soon. A Town Hall 10 attack strategy that should be able to help you Town Hall 10s uh, get the 3 star a little bit more than maybe in the past. But yeah, we've seen some stuff that I hadn't predicted. I thought this update would affect the game a little bit differently, but I was surprised at how things are shaping up, and I'm definitely pretty happy with uh, with what I'm seeing. So like I said, I'm just going to go through, talk about it, and possibly commentate on a few of these attacks. I do have quite a few attacks to show, so we might uh, kind of transition into going through Town Hall 9 specifically. But basically, uh, the background attacks for Town Hall 9 are going to be some of these new attacks with Witches and Pekkas, but also probably the most common one that we see still is the air attacks. Hogs actually haven't been, they're kind of second class or taking the back seat to, um, to air attacks. Hogs have not been as popular, even though uh, we did have a, a ways back, we did have the giant bomb update that took away that 1.5 damage to hogs. Um, still don't see them that much, not nearly as much as air attacks, and we're starting to see P.E.K.K.A.s and witches even make their way into the scene as well to take away even more attention from those hogs. So interesting there at Town Hall 9, although I want to start um, specifically at Town Hall 11, because this update was supposed to be all about the Town Town Hall 11s. It was supposed to, you know, it was adding all these new level troops. It was adding a few buffs um, to troops in general. Uh, we were really, you know, expecting to see possibly Town Hall 11 three stars. And I think there's probably not been enough time. And, you know, I'll have to revisit this topic in the future. But I don't think there's been enough time to see Town Hall 11 three stars emerge. Now, obviously, the buff wasn't enough to make them like easy. They're nowhere near the uh, Town Hall 10 possibly possibility or the Town Hall 9 possibility for 3 stars which are uh, both pretty viable and I'll get to those in a minute but Town Hall 11 really isn't um, a 3 star game still and I think that's okay. Uh, we don't necessarily want to see every Town Hall level in the game be equal. We want to see the top levels be harder to 3 star. Um, that way it, it has a little more variation in the war. We see town hall levels kind of, there's more strategy, I guess is what I'm saying. We see people using their attacks more strategically, um, town hall levels uh, varying a little bit. We still want to three, see three star attempts, don't get me wrong, but we still want to see at the same time a little bit of variation in strategy and stuff. So town hall 11, I don't think has to be that much of a three star game, although it would be nice to see some uh, possibilities, especially on some lower level town hall 11s that might only have the level one eagle and not match maxed out point damage. So basically for Town Hall 11, I haven't seen, I've seen a few three stars on kind of weak bases, which I think is probably where it should be. Uh, if you have a weak Town Hall 11 base, like the base design is bad, there should be a, a solid chance at a three star. A good anti three star Town Hall 11 base, if we if we have anti three star bases, the bases just tend to be kind of a mix between anti two and anti three, because two star attempts are so common. But a good Town Hall 11 base in general should be very difficult to three star. I don't think we want to see, you know, perfect wars in the CWL matchups or anything that would kind of throw, thing, throw things upside down and if those emerged we'd see so many ties and stuff uh, being uh, there's no no way to decide it with there's because no, there's no percentage if it's all three stars <clears throat> so we want to stay very far away from that possibility um, we want to see a number of bases not three starred and because of that I think Town Hall 11 is pretty good uh, they did add quite a bit of new things but it was very very difficult to three star to begin with and this update's not going to change that I think we're still seeing uh, you know consistent Town Hall 11 is being left one starred or two starred and I don't think there's any more changes needed really and for those of you Town Hall 11s I know you guys don't want to spend all your time dipping on Town Hall 10s but um, there are th I think we might start to see with time some Town Hall 11 three star attempts emerge and uh, that would be that would be nice to see and I think uh, everyone would appreciate that especially the Town Hall 11s so transitioning into Town Hall 10 now this was the Town Hall level that I am and I'm worried about or I was worried about um, once I heard about what the update was going to entail because I thought you know there's nothing really being added to Town Hall 10 besides a few small troop buffs and it's not going to 
do anything for Town Hall 10, which is very difficult to three star. Um, but we've seen so many more Town Hall 10 three stars, and I don't know what to accredit that to. I think, you know, the balloons dropping faster uh, initially makes it a lot easier, or not a lot easier, but it, it does do something. The balloon buff. Um, Town Hall 11s can donate their max troops, so then the level 6 golem, I guess, is something. There's that um, level 3 bowlers, but we had those already, so you kind of have to decide what you want to bring in your CC. But there's a little help from the Town Hall 11s in terms of higher level troops. I think the witches, I mean, I would like to say witches helped out, but we don't see many witch three stars at Town Hall 10. It's mainly the Bow La Luna attacks, which we'll see um, in a few, a few well, in like 12, 16 hours when I upload that video. Uh, so be looking for that one. That's the attack strategy. But that's the main thing we're seeing. And I think it's a combination of people uh, practicing more, um, having more opportunities, and the the small buff to balloons. I think that's the only troop change that uh, affects that attack strategy. I don't think they, you know, altered Lava Hounds or anything. They might have, I guess, it's possible they snuck a change in that we didn't see yet. But um, for what I know, they haven't changed much besides the balloons. Uh, dragons aren't being used much. Pekkas aren't being used much. Witches aren't being used much at Town Hall 10. So anyway, that being said, it's not that easy to three-star at Town Hall 10. It's still pretty difficult, um, more difficult than Town Hall 9, which it should be. I think as you go up from Town Hall 9 to Town Hall 10, it should be a little more difficult to three-star. Same thing once you go to Town Hall 11, it should be that much more difficult to three-star at Town Hall 11. I think that's the best way for it to be. So it's getting closer, but we need a little more balance. I'd like to see a small change to miners. Don't make them as powerful as they were, but just make them relevant again. We haven't seen minor attacks, and you know that update basically eradicated them. I'd like to see them come back a little bit. That would be um, a nice little touch for Town Hall 10. I think it's getting closer, but we need a little more, um, a little more from Supercell to help Town Hall 10 out. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, I'm super happy with the update in terms of Town Hall 10. It seemed to um, have had an effect. I'm not sure what it was, but something is better at Town Hall 10, and I think I'm happy to be a 10. I think that's a good place in the game to be right now. Town Hall 9, though, um, do have to talk about that as well. And, you know, it was funny because before the update and maybe even after, we were seeing Town Hall 9s not being cleared. Um... I'm not sure what where that trend came from. I don't remember there ever being a good cause for it. But at, at some point, even though the Hogs came back, even though um, Town Hall 9 should have been on paper an easy 3-star level, uh, we saw Town Hall 10s having to dip consistently, even in the CWL Wars. Obviously, there are exceptions to that, but that was a huge trend I saw. And for whatever reason... There were just three, four Town Hall 9s not being three-starred. Now we're seeing even more of an arsenal at Town Hall 9. There's so many different attacks that works. Uh, that work. You can still use Valks. Um, you can still use Hogs. You can use uh, Air Attacks are very common. Uh, I'd say Air Attacks are the most popular, as I hinted at earlier in this video, uh, with Lava Hounds, Balloons, those kind of things. But now we're seeing P.E.K.K.A.s. You know, they might have a use even more so. They already were, you know, somewhat popular. But P.E.K.K.A.s now have a use. Witches, um, you saw a few witch attacks already in this video, just in the background. They're starting to be used. Uh, but we still have Dragons, and they have got that buff, so we might see some more Dragon attacks. Pretty much every troop at Town Hall 9 is being engaged in some way, which is awesome to see. Um, we, we love seeing all these diverse attacks, baby dragons as well. Um, you know, look into your uh, barracks and you can see pretty much every troop has a use in war at Town Hall 9 right now, which is awesome to see. I think the update made it a little bit easier to 3-star. And, you know, in an ideal world, should it be a little harder to 3-star at Town Hall 9? Possibly, you could argue either way. But it's nowhere near being in any, you know, danger. I don't think it's, uh, it's you know, obviously too easy. It's in a pretty good place right now, and I think I'm happy to see that. Um, so overall, this update, I think, worked out pretty well. Um, Town Hall 9 still in a good place. Town Hall 10 getting there. It's in a solid place right now. In Town Hall 11, um, it's still a little screwed up, to be honest. It's all, it always has been. But at, at the same time, we might see some Town Hall 11 uh, three stars start to emerge. And if they do, uh, my channel should be one of the first to show it, hopefully. Uh, but hope you guys um, enjoyed your 
uh, Christmas if you celebrated it. And I should have the iTunes gift card giveaway uh, as well as um, the survey results coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. And we should be back to some more daily uploads over the next few days. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.